How's it going guys, Shizukats here, and today we'll be taking a look at the newest hunter added to Octopath COTC, Zanta. Zanta is Hanit's mentor in the ways of the bow, and he himself is a very well-known hunter often employed on dangerous missions to slay powerful beasts. In COTC, he is best known for his- I... not sure what that was. Anyway, in COTC, he is best known- in COTC, he is best known for his insanely high single-target bow damage. Whereas units like Scarecrow and Hanit are best known for their multi-hit AoEs, Zanta has no such skills, and is instead adept at quickly taking down single targets. Zanta is voiced by Kento Fujinuma. I couldn't find too much on Fujinuma with regards to anime roles, as it's mostly one-off characters. However, on the gaming side, he's featured in a couple other titles you might be familiar with, voicing King Vernon from Bravely Default 2, and Roland's father, the King of Glenbrook, as well as Tenebris from Triangle Strategy. I guess he's a voice actor that Square Enix likes to keep in their back pocket. Taking a look at Zanta's stats, his biggest advantage is his high attack stat. Combined with his passive, he's able to dish out very high amounts of bow damage. While he's on the lower end of speed compared to his fellow 5-star hunters, he's by no means slow, with a solid 315 maximum speed stat. Having lower speed than the others fits his role as a nuker anyway, allowing him to follow up their break initiation with huge amounts of follow-up damage. Speaking of Zanta's passive, let's get those established first, as they're simple enough to quickly go over. His 1-star passive gives him 30% bow damage up, allowing him to do immense amounts of bow damage. Compared to Scarecrow and Hanit, he already has the highest attack stat, but this passive emphasizes the stat difference even further. It also means that Zanta doesn't need to run Hunter's Emblems, and his accessory slots can be freed up for other powerful accessories, such as the Ebony Dragon Scarf to feed his SP Hungry Kit, or even Coda's right hand if the fight is short enough. His 3-star passive gives Call Hagen an additional 30% damage up, which also brings us to Zanta's companion Hagen. This skill is unlocked by default, just like Hanit's ability to call Lind, and can either attack for a 2-hit single target dagger, or 1-hit fan AoE. Just like Lind, the AI will detect if enemies are already weak to Dagger or Fan and attack accordingly. For Zanta's bow skills, his most notable skill, which you'll often be seeing spammed by everyone, is his 5-hit random target bow, which is unfortunately only available at 5-star. Obviously, being random target, it is not suited for fights when there are multiple enemies. However, it's an insane ability for taking down a single foe. Some might argue that Zanta is not a great for the Tiki Lane Cup as a result, but Zanta can absolutely laser down Tiki Lin once her adds are cleared, and is an excellent unit for nuking her down and sometimes skipping her crit gimmick phase entirely. Because of how high this skill's SP cost is, Zanta is one of the units that I personally recommend to prioritize in your hunts to try to get him up to level 100 and reduce the SP cost to a more manageable amount. If you don't have Zanta at 5-star, the next best thing is his 2-star skill, which is a 3-hit random target bow. Having two fewer hits and a lower total potency obviously isn't ideal, but it's about as good as you're going to get if you only have Zanta at 4.5 star. Zanta's other two bow skills are a two-hit bow single target and a one-hit bow 230 nuke. The two-hit bow or the earlier mentioned three-hit random target can be brought along as options to attack for a specific number of hits, if you don't want to go for the full five hits or use BP on your normal attacks. However, the one-hit bow is a skill that I basically never take, as the 5 hit can be used as his primary nuking option. On the light side, he has two light AoEs. The first is 150 power, while the second, unlocked at 5 star, is 180 power and also has a chance to inflict two turns of blind. While having these light skills is a nice option to have, most of the time we're just going to be bringing Zanta to hammer in with the big bow damage. On the utility side, Zanta has a couple self buffs. The first is a 15% attack and crit up buff, which lasts for 3 to 6 turns. This is a good skill that you can lead with and then follow up with another buffer such as Lynette or Glossom to cap out the effectiveness and greatly extend the duration so that it lasts the entire fight. As a result, I often bring this as my third skill. His other self buff is a regen which lasts for 3 to 6 turns. However, I'd rather just let my regen healers do the regen casting so this skill goes unused. In my opinion, Zanta is a fantastic hunter, but how useful he is depends on what content you're trying to use him on. For general play, Zanta can be a bit finicky to use. With no AoE bow options and his best multi-hit options being random target, it's hard to make best use of him if you wind up fighting against multiple enemies. You do also have access to Hagen though, which gives him a bit of extra coverage. However, in more specialized high difficulty content such as BTs, arenas, and level 100 NPCs, especially if the enemy is alone, 
Zanta is truly a force to be reckoned with. His ability to deal hilariously high bow damage can make quick work of even the most difficult of enemies, and you can absolutely feel the difference when he's added to the team. For a bit of quick insight on what content Zanta might be useful for in the future, I picked out a couple bosses that you'll want to look out for down the line. The first is the 5th Arena. I'm not going to give anything more than that, just know that Zanta's a beast for that fight. The second is the Grandport level 100 NPC, which will be added to the game as part of Bestower of Power Chapter 2. If you're not the kind of player that wants to tackle these high difficulty fights immediately, then by all means just take your time and play the game your way. However, if you're the type to go for glory and claim victory over these fights as soon as you can, Zanta is a great asset to have. And that's all I have for you guys today. If you guys enjoyed the video, let me know down in the comment section below, and as always, if you have any questions, feel free to drop those down below as well. I'll be hosting a birthday stream tomorrow at 5pm Pacific, where I'll be taking on the new Hammy Cup completely blind, so hopefully I'll see some of you guys there so you can watch me get destroyed. Until then, this has been Cheezacats. See ya!